This is Dawnlin Fraser from Living Your Best Life at 60, and today we're going to be making a bondage soup. We're going to need six cups of beef broth, a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a cup of cooked rice, one can of diced tomatoes, eight ounces of tomato sauce, a pound of ground beef, two teaspoons of minced garlic, a half a cup of chopped cilantro, one and a half cups of potatoes, three carrots, one large zucchini, a half a cup of chopped onions, one egg, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of olive oil. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is mince our garlic. We need one teaspoon for our meatballs and one teaspoon for our soup. And I'm just gonna mince it all together. I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this and put it in a bowl to make our meatballs and set the rest aside. We're gonna add our pound of ground beef to our garlic. One egg. Teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of salt, half of our cilantro, and a half a cup of rice. I'm going to set all this stuff aside. And I'm going to mix this with my hands. That looks pretty good. And the reason we add rice to this is so that our meatballs stick together. So we're gonna make small meatballs out of this. And I set them on this plate. And pick these little ones up and add a little meat to them because we want these to be pretty evenly sized. And just a little bit more. Okay, we're going to take these meatballs and set them aside. I've cleaned and prepped my vegetables to be chopped. Now I'm going to put two teaspoons of olive oil in a pan and heat it over medium heat while I start chopping. Okay, we're going to start with our onion. We need a half a cup of diced onions. So I'm just going to cut this in half. This is not my favorite thing to do, cut onions, but it needs to be done. Not quite, just a little bit more. Okay, looks good. Take all of this and I'm gonna put it right in my pan. Okay, set my onion aside. And get my carrots. I'm going to chop our carrots into bite-sized pieces. I'm just going to toss these right in. Stick all this in the pan. Give it a stir. We're going to let our carrots and onions cook for four minutes on medium while we're cutting the rest of our vegetables. Okay, we're gonna chop our potatoes into bite-sized pieces. And remember, we're only doing a cup and a half, so I'm just gonna use one and a half of these potatoes. We don't want these pieces to be too big because then they won't cook. Well, they will cook, but we want them to be done when our meatballs are done.
Okay, now our zucchini. Same thing, we're gonna cut this in bite-sized pieces. And we're leaving the peel on this. It adds color, and it makes no difference. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. We're gonna add our teaspoon of garlic and let it cook for 30 seconds. Gonna add our beef broth, six cups of beef broth. That's four plus two. I actually mistake. I actually made a mistake at my opening. I actually need a half a teaspoon of cumin for my soup. So it's really one and a half teaspoons of cumin one teaspoon for the meatballs and a half a teaspoon for our soup. So I have a half a teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in here and I'm adding that right now. My can of diced tomatoes. Eight ounces of tomato sauce. A little more. I'm adding my vegetables now my potatoes and zucchini. My half a cup of cilantro. Salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna stir this. I'll bring you over here in a minute to see this. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes. Doesn't this look delicious? It's time to add in our meatballs. I'm just gonna push those down below the broth. We're gonna let this simmer for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes and our soup looks amazing. Look at this, those delicious looking meatballs, the veggies, it looks fantastic. This looks amazing. Let's give it a try. Super hot though. I'm gonna take a little bit of meatball. That's delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for cooking with me.